As a surgical oncologist, one of my main job is to incorporate my practice in the management of a cancer patient. I typically will quarterback a patient's care with the other treating physicians. Staging of the cancer helps determine the appropriate treatment for the patient. Ideally, an early stage cancer will require surgical resection as their first step in their management. If a patient has an advanced stage of cancer, typically we would give them chemotherapy or radiation therapy and this also requires coordination with the medical oncologist and the radiation oncologist for the timing of these procedures. And after they receive the chemotherapy or radiation, I touch base with the medical oncologist and the radiation oncologist to see how the patient did with these procedures and if he responded well, then I proceed with my surgical resection. After surgical resection, the patient typically will follow up with me in the office and I talk to them about their cancer. I would also review the pathology with them and I would also establish what the next step of treatment will be. And typically this will involve either chemotherapy or radiation therapy depending on the uh, pathological staging. And uh, I typically will follow the patient even after surgical resection just so that I know the patient has been taken care of and that he has taken the appropriate next step for his care. As a surgical oncologist and more so as a physician, I feel that I have played a vital part in a patient's care, especially in this difficult time when they're diagnosed with cancer. I feel that I have done everything possible to make sure that the patient has had a great outcome from his surgery and also from his cancer. This is the reason why I like to coordinate a patient's care with the other physician so we can have a comprehensive approach of cancer care.